What's up YouTube, Doswell Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. All right. So I was in my comments and I was reading my comments as I always do, reading and responding back to people. And um, another person in my um, in my community said how do you use the automation after he said he you know just started and he's trying to um do the automation and he don't know how to do it so in this video i was working on a beat i didn't record it i don't know why but i was working on a beat and um i was like you know what this is a good time let me show him how to do it so this right here is to show you how to do the automation after you done track your your, your beats out right so if you notice, I already tracked my beats out. So after you track your beat out, this will this was his question. He tracked his beat out and he need to know how to add automation. All right. So let's go. Let's get it. That's what we're doing. Let's go. All right, so let's get it. Here go the beat right here. I'm going to let you hear it. I was working on it, and, you know, I felt like it was a good time to show how to do it. So let me let you hear the beat and hear what it sound like. Let's go. So I was working on a drill beat. That's it right there. So now I'm going to show you how to do the automation, right? After you done track your beat out and everything. So let's go. I already got a video showing how I did this, all right? So let's go. We have this decimal. We're going to track. Uh, we're going to do the automation for the right here, right? So make sure when you're doing your automation, you have this lock. Because if it's not locked, what this do, right? What this lock do, it locks the top and the bottom together. So this up here is just a, a mirror of what's down here. And you can do your, your levels and do whatever you want to do to up here, right? So this is just the mirror of down here. But if you have it unlocked, you can move this one. Here go the playhead and the playhead is here. So you might think you're here and you working on this one but it's not that one it's actually this one so I like to lock it now when I move it they both move together right so we're gonna automate right here at the first and we're gonna use decimal decimort two and um, we're gonna do the automation right so I want to automate this knob right here to do to from seven to nine we're gonna automate from seven to nine so this button right here here you go this button right here when it's on green that means read right when you click it and it turns red that means write. you can write your automation write whatever you want to put in and then after you finish remember to put it back on green so that it can read whatever you did right if you leave it on red and you press another button, then this button is going to automate. If you make a mistake and press this this button or this knob, it's going to automate. So as long as this is not on red, it won't automate. We'll put it on green to read, right? So if you want to automate, remember, make sure it's red. If you don't want to automate, make sure it's green. All right? So we're going to do the, the decimal 2 from 7 to 8. All right, so I'm going to just, once I put it on red and I turn the knob, 
that's how you do your automation is real simple all right so let's go when it get the seven that's when we gonna automate this knob all right see that and I just flick it all the way back around just so it can go back to the, the normal where it's at, right? So let's take turn this off and let's listen what we just did. No hands. You're going to see the knob go around by itself because I automated it right here as you can see. All right. So no matter where at in the track that you want it, we're going to put your automation it can be all the way down at the end let's say we want to put it um let's say we want to automate the button down at let's go let's automate it at 31 let's do the play see i didn't hit the uh the right so it didn't do nothing so let's go back to 31 29 we're gonna start at 29 but we really want to do 31 right so turn it on now let's hit play ready all right so no matter what vst you have you can do the same thing so let's close this decimal and let's open up the air filter right let's go here we're going to do the air filter at, at let's just do let's go back to the start go back to the start and we're going to use we're going to uh automate this cutoff frequency knob All right, so you see, no matter which, whatever you want to automate, you can automate anything. So let's go. All right, so that's it. That's automation in a nutshell. It's simple. That's how you do it, all right? After you track your beat out, that's it. All right. See you in the next one, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go.